technology. I admit to the Master of Business Administration, Master of Computer Application, Master of Technology, and Bachelor of Engineering degree. All the candidates present, presented to receive the provisional degree, I hereby call upon you to be a good speech and conduct befitting the degree awarded to you. Dear graduates, resume your seats. Now I would request Sri Prashant Doreswami, President and CEO, Continental India, Bangalore, to deliver the graduation address. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chairman PVP Trust C. S. Marie Swami. Good morning, Secretary PVP Trust C. Krishnamurti. Good morning, Treasury Treasurer PVP Trust Dr. Umesh. Good morning, uh, PVP Trustee C. Shivamallum. Good morning, Dr. Shiva Prakash, mentor. Good morning, Principal Dr. Minakshi. Vice Principal Dr. Vijay Kumar, Dean Dr. Prashant, Dean Dr. Anuradha, happy professors and teachers, graduating stu students of the batch of 2022-2023, proud parents sitting here at the back, relatives and friends of this graduating class. Thank you so much, Principal Dr. Minakshi, for having invited me here for the kind words of this introduction. First of all, my personal congratulations to each one and every one of you. You are all proud recipients of your post-graduation and graduation degree today. This will go down as one of the sweetest moments in your personal and also a professional career. Please do enjoy the moment. Today marks the turning point of your life and I'm glad to be part of this occasion. Thank you for inviting me and thanks for the privilege of being part of this milestone with so many management graduates, postgraduate engineers, engineers, and computer graduates for the privilege of being part of this milestone. <coughs> and also, you have all the potential to change the course of businesses, economy, society, and most importantly, bring more value to our country. I was in your shows about three decades back I stood right there like you with hopes and dreams. Today, I'm the CEO of one of the world's largest automotive technology companies, but honestly telling you, I did not get there of, a, of this any easy on the platter. There was a sweat and a hard work and risks and self-doubts and also mistakes and learnings and chances and a lot, lot more behind it. As you embark on your journey of life, I would like to share some perspectives based on my experience. Number one, there's no substitute to our work. I didn't invent this quote, Thomas Edison said that you had the privilege of this education, which means you already have a head start over several others. Now it's your turn to work hard. It builds character. It helps you develop courage, discipline, pride in yourselves, humility, and determination. Trust me, you need all of this in your journey of life. Hard work makes you realize your potential. Success feels sweet when we earn it ourselves. Most importantly, it helps you develop personality, personal responsibility, owing your actions and your choices in life. Number two, never compromise on your values. Values means different things to different people. And what I mean here is basic human, ethical, and professional values and not the cultural values. In my 30-year career, I've seen people with and without values at all levels of the society. Yes, you can get away with not having values, but each day when you look at yourselves in the mirror, you should not be ashamed of what you are today. Develop yourself as a good human being. Always maintain your integrity, no matter the consequence, Trust me, this will help you in the long way. Life is a marathon, not a sprint, and what sustains your foundation are your value systems. Number three, your reality is different from another's. 
There's no comparing an apple to it with an orange. One of the traps we might fall into unknowingly is comparing ourselves with other. Know early on what you are unique and very different from the person standing next to you now. Some of you would want to do IS studies. Some might have a student loan to pay off. Some might need to financially support their parents. Some might be facing the pressure of marriage. Set your priority based on your reality. Not all of us will have the safety net as Mark Zuckerberg had. No trouble to drop out of the university and build a sort of startup. Some of us need sustainable incomes as well. Also, you need to know that in life, it is not possible to always make the right choices. Mistakes do happen. Sometimes we fall behind. Sometimes we focus on more important things at the point in our life. The more we compare ourselves to others, the worse we feel about ourselves. So learn to focus on your strengths and your priorities and do your best in life. Number four, do not hesitate to take risk when you can. My advice to face your reality was not to ask you settle with status quo. Many of us are reluctant to take risks, primarily because of a fear of unknown. You need to have an appetite to do different things, test new waters, Will you always succeed when you take a risk? Absolutely no. There is always a chance that you might fail. If you succeed, great. If you fail, you learn from it. I see this as a win-win situation. But when we are young, we have several ideas and dreams, and some of those are crazy. When I say take risk, does mean you follow a whim or a fancy. No. If you have a dream, work on it. Weigh the pros and cons carefully. Set your goals. Chart out how you can achieve it. Set a timeline, and by the end of such an exercise, you will know if you are willing to take a risk for this dream. Number five, cherish each day, celebrate your life. That's the last message I would like to have you with today. You are young, and there's so much waiting for you ahead. Work hard, but don't forget to have fun too. Enjoy the little moments of life. Celebrate your happiness, successes. Find time to spend with your loved ones. Sometimes slow down. You don't have to always be in a hurry. You will have a good days and a bad days. It's all part of the journey. Cherish all of it and leave the present. All of it would add up to your personality and who you choose to be. I give you my point of view for the consideration. First, I would ask you to prepare for the next five years. I don't think you should be looking for the next 20 years because there are so many things changing fast. I think you should be considering only next five years. Things change too fast, and hence any plans for next 20 years is like to be the way of the mark. So first advice is to take the life block in five years. Second, when you start your job, either you will be noticed, not noticed, or ignored. This depends on the firm, culture of the company, or size of the company. The only way to get noticed in the first two to three years of your career is to work hard with quality. So any other way of being noticed, it's not valuable. Third, life at workplace is totally different from your college. In a college, you can choose your friends, you ignore others, you take subjects of you want and reject other subjects, you attend the class you want and pretty much answerable to pretty few people. But at work, you have to work with different types of people. You are answerable to many. You have to be on a time and you have to be a part of the organization. The workplace is far more disciplined than the college. So my would request is please get disciplined. And the other thing, things, first things as you go your career, there will be always occasions where you need the company many times more than the company needs you. In this situation, you expect companies to be taking care of you, understand you emotionally. At the same time, when the company needs you, they need you very badly. And they need you to help the transition or the transformation which any company would be going through. And you really need to make efforts when the company needs you. And how do you do that? Always please keep in mind, it can be only done with a philosophy, company first, the team second, and individual third. I think many people have tried to reverse this, have not been successful. So my four piece of advice is, Never, first is never work for a poor boss. How do I define a poor boss? And a, a poor boss is one who's intellectually dishonest and insecure. This is the worst combination you can get when you start your career. If you notice, please inform the company. 
If the company is not taking any action, my humble request is just move on so that you can cut your losses as early as possible. Number two, leave a legacy in the job. We all think only the CFOs and CEOs leave a legacy. It is not true. Even as a trainee, you can leave a legacy. People usually talk about CEO, CFO legacy, as I said. According to me, even the GET, GET, as a graduate engineer trainee, you can leave a big legacy. How do I do this? Again, by following company first, team second, self third. Number three, never change, chase a money. I think if you are good, certainly money will follow you. If you have money, it doesn't mean that you are good. A lot of people destroy their career chasing money in short term. If you are committed and if you are good, and if you are good, money will certainly follow you. And the last one is always contribute and give back to the society. If you are today here, there's so many people in our lives have helped us to come to this situation. So when you start working, my humble request would be be a giver. Whatever way possible, please give back to the society. With that, <coughs> I close my uh, opening response. That's what I wanted to tell you. And with that, wish you all the very best and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your highly inspirational speech to our young graduating students. Now, I request Dean Academic, Dr. K. N. Anuradha, to announce the rank holders and medal winners. Respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, dear graduating students, and parents. First of all, I congratulate all the rank holders of PG program and all the graduating students. Now I request Sri Prashant Dureswamy, President and CEO, Continental India, Bangalore, to kindly hand over the medals to the first rank holders of PG program and winners of Institute medals. In Master of Computer Applications under two year scheme, First rank goes to Geeta Ji. In Master of Computer Application under three-year scheme, first rank goes to Manavi G. In Master of Business Administration, first rank is awarded to Afreen Tabasu. M.Tech in Structural Engineering, first rank goes to Nikhil N.
in mtech in computer science engineering first rank goes to two students dhanya kn and navyashri ks department has sponsored medals of pg program in master of business administration topper in mba among the male students of the batch sponsored by faculty members of mba department kartik vm BK Karuna Shri from MTech in Structural Engineering receives department sponsored medals. Topper in MTech Structural Engineering among the female students of the batch sponsored by the faculty members of Civil Engineering Department. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> I seek the permission of the governing body and academic council members to distribute the provisional degree certificates to the students. Now, I would request Shri A. R. Krishnamurthy, Honorable Secretary, Panchajanya Vidya Pita, and Member Governing Body, Dr. Ambedkar Institute of Technology, to hand over the provisional degree certificates to the students. Dr. Baskaran, HOD of Master of Business Administration, will read the names of the students. Illaru Namaskara. Good morning to all of you. I congratulate the graduating students of MBA program of 2020-22 batch. Abhishek Yan. I read out the names. Please come one by one. Okay. Agila, yes. Anapurna C. Chandana. Charan. All of you come and stand in the queue. Come, come. As per the order. Charan. Dr. 
धनुष गायत्री यस गीता के एम गौतम गौड़ा हर्षवर्धन हर्षिता काव्य बी के कीर्तना कीर्ति कुमार लक्ष्मी एम मोनिषा एन नागराजु एन निसर्ग एस निशा चलसी ए पल्लवी एन पवन कुमार एस पूजा डी पूजा शर्मा रचना बी आर रजनी के एम रोहित कुमार संजना संजय आर शालिनी के शोहिता श्रेयस शुभा एस श्वेता के एम स्नेहा एस Soumya Jiyu Suraj Gowda Swarnalata Tejaswini उषा यस yes. 
उजैर अहमद वेदश्री एस वेदिका ये विनुत यशस्विनी आर वै योगिता हेच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर नाउ आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर बी एन उमेश ऑनरेबल ट्रेजरर एंड मेंबर गवर्निंग बॉडी टू हैंड ओवर द प्रोविजनल डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट्स टू द स्टूडेंट्स डॉक्टर चंद्रकांत जी पुजारी एच ओ डी ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशंस विल रीड द नेम्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स good morning all of you so congratulations to the mca graduate students of uh, third three years course and also two years course batch students all of your hard work and perseverance have led you to this proud moment in your lives best wishes on your next adventure i request you to collect your provisional degree certificate with smile so uh, first uh, abdul aziz aishwarya p akash anish apurva arvind kumar pavan chaitra dr chaitra hn chetan mp darshan sn धनुजा के पी दीपिका गंगाधर सिंह गीता जी हर्षिता हर्षिता के एम हेमंत कुमार Hindu C J 
जीवन जेस ज्योति के कवना एमसी ख्वाजा मैनुद्दीन कुसुमा एन महालक्ष्मी एम महेश शिवराम नायक नागवेणि पटकार नेहा विट्टल अन्नम निश्चिता केस निष्कला एच डी निवेदिता एम पाटील वैशाली हेमचंद्र पूजा एम रायकर पूर्णेश बी एस प्रदीप पी के रचना एस रम्या आर रंजिता डी नायक रंजिता आर रूपाली सहना आर सहना वी ए संजना एस गौड़ा श्वेता एस सिंचना सी एस सिंधु सुमंत जी सुनील बी आर सुष्मिता एच सी सुष्मिता टी उज्ज्वल एम वेणुगोपाल एस विजया के वैशाख वी एस एस के पी यशवंतराज एन नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट थ्री इयर्स बैच स्टूडेंट्स टू कलेक्ट यूर पी डी सी अनुषा हेच ए चैतन्य जी एस द 
दर्शन के धनंजय ए जगदीश एस कापु अनिता लक्ष्मी मनवी एन जी मनोहर रेड्डी मनोज एम गौड़ा मोहन एस okay. पवन कुमार एस जे पवन कुमार यू प्रवीण कुमार बी प्रिया जे संध्या एम सिंधु पी सिंह दीपेंद्र विश्वनाथ एनपी थैंक यू thank you sir now i would request shri s shivamallu honorable member governing body to hand over the provisional degree certificates to the students dr s vijaya hod of civil engineering will read the names of the students Good morning, everyone. I congratulate the students of graduated students of M Tech Structural Engineering and B Civil Engineering. From PG, uh, Aishwarya Manjunath. Ashok Gowda R. G. Deepika, Harshita Yam, Mamata Evi, Manoj Yam. Manoj M. Ganganu, Nishant K, Omkar Shankar Patil, Parinita M. संचिता सीजे अनुश्री जीएस एस 
ಅಶೋಕ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಭಾವನ್ನ ಎಸ್ ಚೇತನ್ ಎಂ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಕೆ ಎಂ ಹರ್ಷಿತಾ ಕದಂ ನಂದೀಶ್ ಎಸ್ ರಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಜಿ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಜಿ ಕೆ ವಿವೇಕ್ ಎನ್ ಕಗಲಿ ಆರಾಧ್ಯ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಭೈರವರಾಜ್ ಈಶ್ವರ್ ಕಂಬಾರ್ ಪ್ರೇಮಾ ಹೆಚ್ಚರ್ ಸುಷ್ಮಿತಾ ಎನ್ ನಾವು ಯು ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಸತೀಶ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಕೀರ್ತಿ ಸುಮನ್ ಕೆ ಐಸಾಕ್ ಕುಶಾಲ್ ಎನ್ ಯಶವಂತ್ ಬಿ ಚಂದನ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಕೌಶಿಕ್ ಎಂ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ನದೀಮ್ ಬಿ ರಂಗನಾಥ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಟಿ ಎನ್ ರಾಜು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಶಿವಮಲ್ಲು ಸರ್ ಆನರಬಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ will give away the provisional degree certificates to the students on this occasion i congratulate all the postgraduate students of machine design and undergraduate students of bachelor of engineering on being conferred provisional degree i call upon the names of the postgraduate students please collect your provisional degree certificates dilip p ಮಂಜುನಾಥ್ ಜಿ ಮಿಥುನೇಶ್ ಸಿ ಕೆ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಕುಲಕರ್ಣಿ ಮ 
ममता जे प्रवीण के I call upon undergraduate students Barkhat Khan Jagan Simayas Pawan P Surya K Sagar B. Sudhindra K.S. Thank you. Wish you all good luck. Thank you, sir. sir. Dr. Ujay Kumar, HOD of Information Science and Engineering will read the names of the students. Dr. S. Shumal is honorable member, governing body. Yes, sir. Yes. So I will give the certificates to the students. Please, sir. Please, sir. I congratulate all the graduating students of MTech in Computer Network and Engineering and Cyber Cosmic and Information Security. I will read out the names. Kindly collect your provisional degree certificates. Avinash N. Rao, Akshata S. Rashmi PK. Megashi. Minu M. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I would request Sri Yair Krishnamurthy, Honorable Secretary, Panchajanya Vidyapita Welfare Trust, Member Governing Body, to hand over the provisional certificate to the students. Dr. G. V. Jairamaya, HOD, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, will read the names of the students. Good afternoon. I congratulate wholeheartedly PG Power Electronics, Power Electronics and UG Electrical and Electronics Engineering. So please collect your degree certificate with smiley face. Uh, 20 batch, Arati, Arati, Manoj Kumar, J.A. Mohit R. Pooja Dayanand. Rashmi S. Ugar. Siddhalinga, Siddhalinga Aradhyaya, Saumya K, Suman Raj D, Suman Raj D, Suman Raj D, Eshaswini, Pradyumna, Pradyumna, 
ನವಾಯ್ ಕಾಲಪಾನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಗಜೇಂದ್ರ ಯಾದವ್ ಗಂಗಾಧರ ಬಿ ಎನ್ ಪವನ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಜಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಎಚ್ ವಿ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ ರಾವ್ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಎಚ್ ವಿ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ ರಾವ್ ಉಷಾ ಎಂ ಉಷಾ ಎಂ ನವಾಯ್ ಕಾಲಪಾನ್ ಯು ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ನೇತ್ರಾವತಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ರಮೇಶ್ ಎಚ್ ಓಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಇನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಯು ವಿ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಬೆಡೆಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ and also a bachelor of uh, engineering in electronics and communication engineering now i call upon first uh, master of uh, technology batch students i request all of you to come and collect abhilash b ಗೌತಮ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಕಿರಣ್ ಗೌಡ ನಸ್ರೀನ್ ರೇಣುಕಾ ಎನ್ ಶಶಾಂಕ್ ಜಿ ನೋಯ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಟೂ ಜೀರೋ ಟೂ ಜೀರೋ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಅರ್ಪಿತ ಚೈತ್ರ ಆರ್ ಮಹಾದೇವ್ ನಯನ ಎಸ್ ನಿಹಾರಿಕ ರಕ್ಷಿತ ಶಶಿಧರ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಿ ನಾವು ಈ ಕಾಲ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಯು ಜಿ ಅಟೆಂಡೀಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪವನ್ ರಾಜ್ ಆಯುಷ್ ರಂಜನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಜು ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್
congratulations all the graduate students and the proud parents because of you they are receiving this pdc in front of you all i call upon my 20 batch students harshita p jay prakash malviya madhusri ravi kiran saista tabasam susma sweta now i call upon 19 batch vishakarani अक्षय अमूल्य अनुषा आशा दीपा मैत्र एस संपागवी मंजूषा ऋत्विक राणी श्वेता यस पूजा ये सौजन्य Susma C V, Yeshu Raj Gowda, best of luck all our graduate students for your future endeavors. Now I am call upon our UG students, Amruta P N, Mujaffar Ahmed, Nirgun. Manavendra Jairam, Mujaffar Ahmad, Rakshit Gowda, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I would request Dr. B. N. Umesh, Honorable Treasurer and Member Governing Body, to give away the provisional degree certificates. Dr. Dr. N. Mohan, HOD of Industrial Engineering and Management Department, will read the names of the students. All the graduate students, all the graduate students, please resume your seats. Please do not leave the wall until you take the oath by the chairman of the session. All the students, stay back. Resume your seats. Resume your seats till you take oath. I congratulation to the graduating students of the Department of Industrial Engineering and Management. I read the name. Students, please. Collect your provisional degree certificate. Akash Raj, AM.
ಆಕಾಶ್ ಕೆ ಜೆ ನಿತಿನ್ ಎನ್ ಚಾಂದಿನಿ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಮಧುಚಂದ್ರ ವಿ ತಿಲಕ್ರಾಜ್ ಕೆ ಪಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಗಣಪತಿ ವಿ ಸಾಗರ್ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯು ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಖಿಲ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಜಿ ಎಂ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಕೆ ಉಲ್ಲಾಸ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಐಶ್ವರ್ಯ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಪಲ್ಲವಿ ಆರ್ ಶಿವು ಎಲ್ ಪಿಂಕಲ್ ಕುಮಾವತ್ಸಿ ಹರೀಶ್ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ನಿಂಗಪ್ಪ ಹುಗ್ಗಿ ಗಗನ್ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ನಿಂಗಪ್ಪ ಹುಗ್ಗಿ ಗಗನ್ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಯಮುನಾ ದೇವಿ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಲಿಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಲಿಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿ ಅಫ್ರೀನ್ ಬಾನು ನಿಸರ್ಗ ಸಹನ ಸಂದೀಪ್ ತನುಜ ಮಧು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಮಂಜುನಾಥ್ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ಅವರ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಗಂಬರ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಮೋಹನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರ್ಷ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू dear graduates stand up and stretch your right hand to take the oath stretch your hand right hand to take the oath now i would request shri ar krishnamurthy honorable secretary panchanya vidyapeetha welfare trust and member governing body to administer the oath everyone to stand up and stretch your right hand i will read out the oath you should repeat after it i solemnly affirm that having been admitted to the degree i will through world and deed conduct myself in a manner befitting the family of dr ambedkar institute of technology and uphold professional excellence integrity and morality in all my dealings keeping in view the general welfare of the people and good of the nation thank you graduates please resume your seats now i would request shri ar krishnamurthy honorable secretary panchanya vidyapeetha welfare trust and member governing body to declare this graduation day ceremony dissolved i declare this graduation day ceremony dissolved I request everyone to stand up for national anthem as a mark of respect. हेलो
thank you everyone and i also request to remain in the standing position till the procession leaves the auditorium and all the rank holders are requested to please do assemble in front of stage for a photograph on stage please all the rank holders gold medalists are requested to be present on the stage for a photograph Thank you, everyone. Thank you, dignitaries. I request everyone to remain in the standing position till the procession leaves the auditorium. exams in the forefront members of academic council members of governing body dean academic principal vice principal honorable secretary shri ar krishnamurthy sir pvp welfare trust honorable treasurer dr b n umesh sir pvp welfare trust trustees shri s shivamalu sir and dr m mahadeva pvp welfare trust our mentor dr n c shiva prakash along with our chief guest Shri Prashant Doreswami sir president and ceo continental india Thank you, everyone. Uh, and the lunch is arranged for all the students, uh, parents, and the faculty and staff of Dr. IIT. I request everyone to have lunch before you leave. And once again, congratulations and best wishes to all the graduated students. Thank you all.